So question 15 from chapter 1 says that 726 distance learning students at Long Beach Community uh, City College were surveyed and asked the reasons they took a distance learning class. And these are the results. And then it says below the table that assume that the survey allowed students to choose from the responses listed above. So they could choose more than one of these. Now it says, why can the percents add up to 100, over 100%? This reason would be that you may have more than one reason for taking an online course. You might be interested in convenience and that the on-campus section was full. And so you had two reasons why you took this. And many other people had more than one reason and that is why this adds up to way more than 100%. It doesn't mean that there was a mistake in the report, okay? Because as administrators are interested in finding out all of the reasons a student might take an online course. Um, however, the problem with that is that you you know, can get tons and tons of reasons, and you may only have one person that has um, you know a reason for taking a course, and then it gets added to the list. Um, so there are pro reasons why you might cut this off and say okay well we are interested in the top five as, as when the report is finished but there's lots of reasons that were given um, how do you think the question was worded to get responses that totaled over a hundred percent well as i said they must have said give me all the reasons why you've taken an online course and then they just checked off that as the person went through um, but if we were interested in how we might get a total of 100%, then we would have to say, well, what is the most important reason why you took an online course? Well, if you took an online course because it's convenient and all the online sections were, only on campus sections were full, and you really wanted an online on campus section, this would be the most important reason for you. But you found that it was convenient too. So you would have just responded on-campus sections were full and not given convenience as a sample. And it would vastly, probably vastly change these percentages because some of these really low percentages may have been the main reason that you took an online course, but others also worked. And a lot of people found that it was convenient, were here, were here, were here. So this was one of the many reasons, but other reasons may have been more important to the person.